jazz with it is um, way better than what I was using. <laughs> See, I've got, I can do dynamics with the ride symbol. Um, yeah, I guess I should probably, um, you know, show you this. Well, hello again, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I got a new piece of gear. Obviously, it's this thing here. Um, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised by this thing. Um, where to even start? Um, hands down, I think it's the best um, self-contained finger drumming unit that I've ever laid my hands on didn't yeah I'm um, I'm kind of over the moon with this thing right now um where to even start um I kind of was posting about this uh, a number of months ago about you know someone needs to design this exact unit um that's like multi-sampled kits, acoustic kits, um, you know, like a layout for the fingers where it makes sense and just something self-contained. And then they did it, but they also went a, a bit beyond it and then putting in a speaker, um, you know, and then I tried the latency with this uh, off of the, the recording software and the, um, and um, obviously the video samples that you've seen of this on this video and uh, you know great sound quality great you can even use this as um a monitor <laughs> so when you're like in windows 11 you know you can actually have an output output to this thing so you could use this as a personal monitor if you're for some reason you're tracking drums in a different area or something you, you can literally feed the signal to whoever's using this or or set this over here or somewhere um that's beside the point i know what you want to hear about you want to know what the response is um i'm going to demonstrate that i'll just go ahead and tell you though um this thing is very responsive um, I'm very impressed, actually. Uh, I've seen some other reviews, and they they kind of tanked it a little bit. They're, you know, um, maybe because it's not particularly expensive, and they've probably spent thousands of dollars on all of these plugins and other things, you know. Um, I haven't used it as a controller. I just use the internal sounds like if this is hardware, right? Um, yeah. Um, I can totally see myself just using the internal sounds like uh, without even touching anything else. Um, I'll tell you this. 
it's so detailed um, with the response that this is your open hi-hat, right? So if you hit your finger on it and don't let up, it kind of mutes it the same way if you hit a hi-hat with a stick and you kind of mute it yourself by just keeping it without letting it ring. Same thing. <laughs> so you have to actually hit it and let your, take your finger off, you know. And then obviously it's got the choke where, you know, you hit it open and then either one of these will choke it up. And uh, the snare response is great. That's another thing about having the Y bar is that you, um, you know, you can do all of your, like, I can do like straight up six finger rolls with three fingers on each hand and it's perfectly responsive. But I'm going to demo all of that later. I just, um, I just want to say that this thing is great. Completely amazingly impressed that they were able to uh, come out with this at this price point, especially too. And the box is, uh, it's made out of plastic, but it's hard plastic. It's kind of, it's kind of durable. You know, I could see, um, myself getting another one of these as a backup or something. No problem. Anyway, let's hear some more samples. Okay, so let's just kind of get into this. Um, I'm only going to do acoustic samples or acoustic kits for this video because I feel like the electronic stuff's represented better by other people that deal with that kind of stuff. I mostly use this as just an approximation of an, um, an acoustic kit, but playing with your fingers. So, um, you know, hence the guitar. Um, there in the uh, background um this is just the first kit that's that's on the thing when you just get it out of the box and boot it up i think it's called maple um i'll just kind of play you some uh some of the sounds snare bass rim shot open hi-hat closed closed crash crash two Ride, bell ride, uh, yeah, we have one side stick, and then splash, which I really like. Um, and I guess what's really interesting about this is that, um, like I was talking about this in the, um, the, the earlier part, like if I hit this open, right, if I, if I don't let my finger off of it, right, It actually catches it the way you would, the, the same way as if you were playing an actual hi hat. And same thing goes for the snare, right? So nice open snare hit. You mute it by keeping the stick into the head. Same deal. Doesn't really make too much of a difference on the other. Well, it does on the the ride symbol too, apparently. But if you want to, like, if you want to do a uh, mute your crashes, you know, you know, you're playing a right, bam. You just have to put your finger back on it. Um, very cool. Um, so the responsiveness, right? I'll just kind of play around with the um, the snare drum first. I'm barely tapping it.
Very, very cool. Um, it's also cool having the, uh, the, the tom drum like this. So you don't have to go, you know, even though sometimes I do anyway. And even though it's a tiny little pad, I can still kind of... It's responsive enough that I can get my fingers in the area. For like a double. You know? So I'm gonna just play some stuff with this uh, this patch and uh, I'll show you what it'll do. And it also goes without saying that um, it's like I'm listening to this with headphones on as a monitor and um, it's split. So like this crash is literally over on the right side. This is crashes on the left. You already know this if you're listening to it with headphones or with a, a sound system. But the same thing here, you know, it's like. And then this is the same thing mirrored over there. I like that. Um, taking a little bit of, of uh, getting used to because I'm not used to having that degree of um, interactability with with these things. But I'm just I'm not even playing that hard, right? Um, like you could do a, like a like a purdy shuffle or something. Nice. Um, yeah, and of course, you know, um, so like playing jazz with it is um, way better than what I was using. <laughs> See, I've got, I can do dynamics with the right symbol. Um, yeah, I guess I should probably, um, you know, show you this.
this is the uh, modern jazz kit. Um, um, so this is this would be um, I like using the raw kits for jazz too because it's it's kind of more of a fusion thing, like a modern fusion thing. Like they they tend to play a lot of stuff like that too. Um, but this is full on. Like a, you know, like a legit um, thing. And I don't know if you can tell that, but I was feathering the uh, bass with the, the ride cymbal, which you can do really easily here because of the layout of this thing is very ergonomic, as they have said in their literature. That's too much fun to, to mess around with. So let's try some other kits to show you what those sound like. So this is what's called an oak kit. Same layout as the other one. Very nice. This is the birch kit. Um, I'd see, I'd probably use a lot of these for different applications, or like if I was playing um, in a certain um, venue and one didn't sound quite right switch to another one or maybe um for the music that we're playing you know you have some options if you just want to use the onboard sounds and this is the beach wooden kit they all have a little different variations um with the way they work you know uh, the way they sound i mean they work exactly the same way. Um, and that's pretty, that's really nice that they have it laid out identical for all these acoustic kits, you know. So this is a called a reggae kit, and it's it's just interesting because it's got these in on it. Okay, so this is called Percussion Master, um, and it's just like a bunch of different auxiliary drums, and uh, I was really having a lot of fun with this earlier, so...
just a, an immense amount of fun. You, you can imagine playing some uh, Latinized jazz or something and just like having a ball with that. Similarly, this is what's called a Cuban kit. Um, And this is called Brazil, so uh, different types of Brazilian percussion. Here's another kit that I thought was interesting. It's called Arabic. really interesting so there's one called Indian pop um, I, I was really just excited that there was a tabla in here and then it's got some sort of uh, EDM type uh, drums built into it as well
anyway, really nice. Uh, I would like to see that kit. I might actually at some point take some of the you know, the stuff off of that and replace some of the sounds uh, with more of an acoustic kit to get like a tree lock Gertu type thing happening. One of my favorite drummers on the world scene. Here's another interesting one. It's just, it's like. You've probably heard um, some of these Chinese um, folk music um, uh, drums, you know, at different times. And of course, the counterpart to that, the Japanese percussion. Oh, yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yo. Yo. So this actually might be useful more for delicate types of situations. You could, you know, like taiko drones and all that. Um, and then the different Bushido blades. Yo. Um, really, you know, like, like just finding a, a place to use these things or remembering that you have them later. And then, and then we've got the orchestra kit. which is orchestral percussion. That would come in handy um, if I was tracking some um, different types of stuff, like hybridized chamber music or something, uh, fusion, like third stream type stuff. Um, I wouldn't, you know, just just something that adds like that extra <clears throat> bit of depth. And that's pretty much all of the kits. Um, I think I'll... Uh, play you out with some more improv on the, the main kit that I've got saved. So you can save kits by holding down one of these two black star or um, white star buttons for a little while. You on the patch that you're on and then it'll save it. It's got a metronome built in too. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, obviously, um, you're not hearing it. Um, and so it doesn't actually output it through the USB. Um, the menus are a little bit crazy to navigate on this because there's no screen. But to be honest, I mean, I only really was going to use it for just playing one kit at a time. So it's kind of superfluous. I have another sample pad that I can turn on, you know, load up with samples and trigger something and then play this to that sample pad if I need that. So I only needed just a good kit you know um uh, multi-sampled type thing and that's what this is so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this uh don't forget to like and subscribe smash that like button 
as they say, as the parlance goes. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.